What is up? Uh, this is the next Dreamcatcher Invasion recorded. Um, so this one is uh, Cinder, Igniter and Whirlwind. Uh, Cinder and Igniter are set in stone and then Whirlwind I'm running. Skill 1, which you just don't use, and the charge skill. Um, reasons I don't use um, Whirlwind is because you're just going to use... Um, Cinder is the one who dies first here, um, and that means that you've then got the once. So, so Cinder's for the disrupt. Well, when you charge up constantly and put the heals on, and Igniter, you just go ham on the boss. Um, my Igniter isn't skilled up, um, which does affect this raid quite a bit. He's nowhere near as potent as he could be, and he's also, I'm very lacking on a uh, a crit rate crit damage build. I have the crit rate, but I can't get the crit damage as well because most of my crit rate comes from slot 6. Um, like that's my best CR sub rune, and that's, uh, that's a HP rune. So I instead decided to run attack here, uh, which does impede what Igniter can do in this raid. Um, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, and then I'm running Cinder with the Disrupt. She's going to die first, she's got the lowest health, and she's element equals. Um, and then after that, it's just a race against the clock to see how fast we can get it. Obviously, this is one I did a few days ago, and I'm just recording it now. So, you want to put on Flame Ball. Sorry, I'll turn this down a bit. So, you put on Flame Ball, and then Mega Slam. So, it's S1, there's S2. Hope for the passive. Get the heals in. When the boss charges, you use that. Otherwise, don't touch Cinder. I am definitely considering at some point skilling up Cinder's S2 to get it down to 4 mana, because I think that would be a really good investment. Um, but I'm not sure yet. So, yeah, so when, I, when, when the boss doesn't have bombs up, I'll move my thing down slightly. Uh, when they don't have bombs up, you want to put bombs on, and then you want to make a slam pain. And hope for a flame blade. Um, obviously, whilst it's not skilled up, it won't be as often. Boss charges, then we put on the disrupt. Nice and simple. Now, I made a mistake here. I should have put Mega Slam Pain on there. I should have put his S2 instead of his S1 because I would have got. Uh, I would have. It's a. It's a bigger attack. And there we go, I get the thing. So now there's still bombs, so I'm going to go for the, the the Mega Slam. And you're charging up. I got lucky there that I had the Whirlwind Heal, I had the Disrupt in, in hand. And then I get the charge back up. You're just going to cycle Gulper in this raid for the Focus Aggro, that's all you're going to do. Just bring him out, Focus Aggro him. Um, it can also be really useful here because you do get the um, the sec uh, the um, it ticks off a turn of the the HP regen, and it's a lot nicer to be doing that on your own turns when you're not full health than it is to be taking your damage and then healing. And obviously now Cinder's died, so I'm going to be just going for the boss. I get to 162, and then Bad Dreams just nuked me. Um, and I get 167,000. It's a really good score. I'm really happy with it. Um, last, obviously, there's a lot of luck involved. It took me, took me a couple of tries this run. Um, but it works. And so there you go.